guys, so here is the first time that my dad accidentally fell down the little hill. But don't worry, he didn't get wet. Or completely wet. My mom accidentally stopped recording, so this is the footage that we have. But don't worry, we started filming right after. Hi guys, my name is Brianna, and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is catching a bunch of tilapias. First cast! And the one fell. <laughs> yeah, my dad fell trying to get the cast now. Alepion? You gonna throw the small one back? Yeah. Look at the size of that tilapia. First cast, guys. Double fish. We hate this guy so much. Tangle the cast net all the time. We're gonna throw these small ones back too. We want a big one. That's a baby tilapia. Another good one. We're gonna do one more cast over there where the water's a little cleaner. But we've gotten more than, I'd say around 13, and very good sized tilapia. This is what we call a white tilapia, an African tilapia. And I'm not really sure about the name of this piece, but some people call African tilapia. They both taste good. This one's better for ceviche, this one's better for fry. Careful, Ruby, you're gonna slip. Good size eating tilapia. That was the best cast. The only reason it got a little dented was because of the plants there. Oh, we see movement. I see a fish. I see two other fish. We got a couple. We had a monster. We had a monster. Not going anywhere, baby. The oh, oh my God! Look at the size of that tilapia. It's got to be longer than a foot. That's, oh. three, that's three pounds, baby. That's the biggest tilapia I've seen. It's even bigger than my boot. Diana. That's a huge tilapia. Wow. Diana, give a high five to Dad. Huge tilapia. Wow. That's a huge tilapia. Oh, okay. Yeah, not your next one. Uh. Okay guys, so in this clip, my dad didn't catch anything, but this was his second fall, so I still want to show it to you guys. Here you go. Okay guys, we are back and we are in the kitchen. Today we are going to be cooking some sweet and sour tilapia. Now it's going to be a girl's lunch because my dad is out, so I'm going to be making this lunch for me and my mom. This is our three pound tilapia that you guys already saw my dad catch with the cast net. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filleting him up. Start off on this side. I'm gonna use our finger to open him as we cut close to the bones. I'm gonna flip to the other side. Through the belly. Okay, now we got out the tail. 
Now guys, I am just now starting to fillet up fish. So we might not get too good the first few tries. But we will keep improving. And just cutting close to the bone there with our knife. I'm gonna turn it around. Now we're going to make a cut on the head real quick. We're going to be using this knife instead of our fillet knife. Okay, now we're going to keep on going close to the bone. Going over the belly. I'm just gonna finish putting it on. There is our first fillet. That is pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna put it right there and move on to the next side. And there's our fillet. Okay, now we're going to take the skin off. So, first thing we're gonna do, this way didn't come out as good as the first one. I think we shouldn't, probably shouldn't have changed the uh, technique there. But, it's okay. Practice makes perfect. Are our two fillets. Okay, guys. So, next step to our sweet and sour tilapia is to make the sauce. So, here we have our pan with some butter. We're gonna put it on the slow fire that me and my mom have going on. I'm just gonna set it down there. Start to melt that. Now we're going to add in some onion. Add in all of the onion. We're gonna mix it a little. Guys, now that our onion has been cooking for a little bit inside of the butter, and taking all the flavor from the onion, we're gonna go ahead and add our sesame seeds to add both of a little bit of color and also for a little extra flavor. Mix that with the onion and butter. You can already feel the sizzle. Next, we're going to pour in some sugar because, as I told you guys, this is the sweet sauce. We're going to pour in all of that sugar. Take our spatula and start to mix it in. Okay guys, the next step is going to be to add some balsamic vinegar. And we're going to measure it out with the cup that had our sugar. We're going to add a fourth of Out and make some more. Mmm, smells delicious. Thank you. Starting to look really good, guys. Starting to become the sauce. And now for our final ingredient oranges. This is the key ingredient to our sweet sauce some fresh oranges. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take it out. The sauce is done. I'm gonna grab our oven mitt because it is a little hot. I'm gonna close up to the sour sauce and I put it right here. Next step is going to be to cook our fish. These are our two fillets. I'm going to grab our first fillet. Since this is freshwater fish, we're not going to get them wet because it's not good for the oil. So we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper on both sides. Okay, 
We're gonna start adding the fish now that the oil is hot. Careful because I don't want that to bump up on me. Perfect. Now we keep the lid are in the pan. Now, what we're checking is that to make sure you see on the side here, this is gonna start turning white. So once it reaches kind of the middle there, it's time to flip it over. Okay, this is the first filet that we threw in, so this is the first one that we're going to go ahead and flip. There you go. There you go. Yep. We're gonna put it onto our tray. Ooh, look at how amazing that looks. Now we're gonna move on to the next bag. Take the avocado out for a second. Grab more honey and do our next bed. Perfect. Now it's time to get our fish. We're gonna put the tap on the honey real quick. Move that out of here. Now it's time to grab the fish. We're going to take the fillets and lay them on top of the honey. Me and my mom love to eat honey. That's why we added a lot because we really enjoy Wes's honey. I'm going to lay the fillet down on top of the honey. Perfect. Put back our tray. And now for the final step, guys. We're going to add our sauce. Our sweet sauce. Look how delicious that looks. You heard that thump in the background? An avocado just fell from the tree. A little more. Oh my god, great. Ooh. My mouth is watering. I'm gonna add a little more. Now, the moment of truth. It's time to try out our sweet and sour tilapia dish. Okay, we're gonna take out a piece. From the bottom right here. Oh my god, guys. Mix of the honey with the oranges, the balsamic vinegar, the sugar. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is so good. That is just wow. I can feel the oranges in the sauce. The honey gives it such a delicious touch. The fish is tender, just the right amount of crispy. It is perfect. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us make our sweet and sour tilapia. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video on my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.